a safe place. If I had been able to have safe housing when I was younger, I would not have had to marry to escape abuse. Little did I know I married into a worse situation. I wanted and tried to leave my ex-husband, but couldn't as my eldest son was 15, so could not stay in a refuge. I couldn't leave him with my abusive ex-husband, so I stayed until the kids were grown. No one asked why I was ill or injured, and I felt like no one wanted to get involved. Even when hospitalised when pregnant, no one offered me a way out or help. If they had, me and the kids could have been saved. I blamed myself and still do. I think teachers, doctors, mental health workers need to be more aware of the signs of childhood abuse and neglect and also signs of mental health disorders in children and adolescents. Education and help as a teenager when discharged from hospital could have given me choices and opportunities which could have alleviated my homelessness. This could have prevented me from living in environments where I was exploited and getting into toxic relationships in order to provide me with somewhere to live self-medicating with drugs and alcohol to cope with the physical and mental health difficulties escalated due to homelessness and services failing to help me when I was vulnerable and suffering. <laughs>